Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Genetics, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about carbohydrate metabolism disorders, such as the disorders of fructose metabolism and the disorders of lactose metabolism. One of them can give me cataracts, the other group does not. To know which is which, go back and watch my previous videos. After finishing the carbohydrate metabolism disorders, we turned our attention to amino acids or protein metabolism disorders. We talked about the derivatives of the amino acids in the previous video. Today we'll talk about a disease known as alcaptonuria. What does uria mean? It means urina, urine. What does alcaptun mean? It means to possess. To possess urine, to have urine. To have urine that turns black when it gets exposed to and oxidized by light, technically speaking. And you'll see that it's not just the urine that can turn black. Please watch these videos in the clinical biochemistry playlist in order. When proteins get metabolized, they become amino acids, right? Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, right? Right. This is building up. If you go the other way, you're breaking down. Why do we call them amino acids? Because they have an amino group and a carboxylic acid group. Amino acid. How many amino acids do we have? We have a lot of amino acids. How many proteogenic amino acids exist in the human body? Only 20. How about the non-proteogenic? The non-proteogenic are many. These are examples of the non-proteogenic amino acids. These are the 20 proteogenic amino acids. Each one has a name, one letter abbreviation, and three letter abbreviation as we have discussed before. Today we want to focus on phenylalanine and tyrosine. Remember that phenylalanine becometh tyrosine, which becometh dopa, which becometh catecholamines. Dopa dopamine, nor adrenaline, adrenaline. Dopa dopamine, nor epinephrine, epinephrine. So here's the complete song. Phenylalanine tyrosine, dopa dopamine, nor epinephrine, epinephrine. As we have discussed gazillion times before, phenylalanine tyrosine, dopa dopamine, nor epinephrine, epinephrine. Tyrosine has options. It can become thyroxine in the thyroid gland. It can become melanin in the melanocytes of your skin. It can become dopa in the nerve fibers and the adrenal medulla, or it can become homogentic acid. Through many steps, there is an enzyme here that's kind of important, and there is an enzyme here that is especially important. The former is 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dehydrogenase, God help us. The second one is homogentic acid oxidase, which oxidizes the homogentic acid into maleal acetoacetic acid, which will give me acetoacetate and fumarate. Fumarate can feed into the TCA cycle to give me energy. Alcaptonuria is an autosomal recessive disease. I've told you before, when you hear the word autosomal recessive, remember two things. Number one, consanguinity is likely. People who marry their relatives, for example, in a tight-knit community. And number two, you should remember that many autosomal recessive diseases are caused by an enzyme deficiency. What's the name of the enzyme that is deficient in alcaptonuria? Homogentic acid oxidase. Alcaptonuria, what's going on? Deficiency of the homogentic acid oxidase. Why? Genetic, inborn, inherited. I am born this way. It's an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance. Mommy is a carrier. Daddy is a carrier of the disease. But I am sick. Tyrosine, by the enzyme that's less important, 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dehydrogenase will give me homogentic acid. By homogentic acid oxidase will give me maleal acetoacetic acid, which will give me fumarate and acetoacetate. Fumarate can feed into the TCA cycle to give me energy. Acetoacetate can also give me energy. Remember the three famous ketone bodies in the human body? What are they? Acetone, acetoacetic acid and beta hydroxybutyric acid can acetone give me energy no can acetoacetate give me energy yes how about beta hydroxybutyrate yes oh, so acetone does not give me energy no it does not have any physiological significance for the human body however it has a clinical significance for your physician so that he or she can smell the acetone odor in your breath and diagnose you with ketoacidosis. 
That's why it's important for the physician to get intimate with his patient. I should not have said it this way. I mean to come close to the patient to have a quote physician-patient relationship in order to establish a proper diagnosis and lift up the quality of care. I don't know what the flip I'm saying. Pay attention to the patient's odor. Don't just say, oh, this patient smells horrible. I don't want to stay near him. Shut up. Describe the horrible smell. Did it smell like fruit? Did it smell like garlic? Did it smell like rancid butter? As the urine of the tyrosinemia patient that we will encounter in the next video? Because it matters. I want you to become a good doctor, not another doofus with a stethoscope. We have enough of those already. What do you think is going to happen to the patient with alcaptonuria? First of all, fumarate is history, because this enzyme did not exist, which means everything before it will go up, but everything after the block will go down. So less fumarate, less acetoacetate means less energy, less ATP. That's not good. Moreover, accumulation of homogentisic acid or homogentisate everywhere in the tissue and in the urine. Precipitation in the tissue, especially cartilage and other connective tissue, can lead to black nose, especially the tip of the nose because that's the cartilage part of the nose. The ear penna, because it's cartilage. Connective tissue includes what? Collagen. Cartilage has collagen type 2. The sclera probably has collagen type 1. Accumulation of homogentisic acid in the sclera will give me ochronosis. What does osis mean? Condition. Ochrono means yellow. Well, technically, it's not yellow, it is blackish, brownish, dark bluish, etc. But for some reason, the wrong name stuck with us. Just like myasthenia gravis and other names in medicine. Homogentisic acid increases in the urine can be detected by chromatography, which can establish the diagnosis. If you leave that urine and expose it to light, light will oxidize it and the urine will become black in color. Can you name the disease where if you get the urine oxidized to light or exposed to air, it will get oxidized to a purple or wine-like color? What was that disease? Let me know in the comment section. Next, try to measure the level of homogentisic acid oxidase. It will be low. Genetic studies for the autosomal recessive disease. All of these are ways to establish the diagnosis. Many patients with alcaptonuria have degenerative arthritis spine problems, hip problems, knee problems, just like osteoarthritis. So whether you call it degenerative joint disease or degenerative disc disease, the pathophysiology is the same. Cartilage loss, but bone growth with crazy bone spurs known as osteophytes. How can we manage the patient? Well, homogentisic acid goes up, which means everything also behind us will go up. Tyrosine goes up, phenylalanine goes up. So try to decrease the intake of phenylalanine and tyrosine. And sometimes this means less protein intake because amino acids come from protein. And there is a medication which originally came from an idea, a crazy idea, an herbicide known as nitizin known was found to actually ameliorate the symptoms of alcaptonuria. No one understood why until we realized, oh, you remember this less famous enzyme? Nitizinone actually inhibits it. A new medication was developed called Arfadin to treat patients with alcaptonuria. This medication is not approved in every country. These patients have joint problems. Manage the arthritis. How do I manage the arthritis? Watch my video on osteoarthritis management. I'll tell you how. To learn more about orthopedic surgery, trauma surgery, ophthalmological surgery, all kinds of surgery, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn about acute respiratory distress syndrome, many cardiac arrhythmias, angina, myocardial infarction, and many atoxidrome as possible, download my emergency medicine high yields. To learn about vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, twin twin transfusion syndrome, and much more, download my obstetrix gynecology high yields. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button 
choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.